Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. I'm gonna teach you five tips on how to talk better and to sound smart when you're talking and when you're making speech. Because the last thing you want when you're trying to become the best version of yourself is to sound like a dumb bitch. Okay, this is not an expression that I like to use because I believe nobody is dumb. But sometimes when I hear some people talking, I clearly see that they lack communication skills. I never want that to be me. No matter how big or how little, your range of knowledge is whatever you know you should be able to explain you're gonna see a drastic improvement in the way you speak in public since i was a little girl i've always had communication classes with my dad he was my teacher since he was literally a teacher and he was telling me and giving me all these tips on how to speak and to sound confident and to be the best public speaker out here. Clearly I haven't mastered that already, but no matter what, if you're talking a proper language or if you're talking in slang, you should be able to make yourself understood, period. I'm sorry if you heard some roosters. We have a lot of roosters at home, so they're gonna be like a background character. I apologize in advance if it pisses you off, but it's how life is. If I want eggs, I need chickens. First of all, when you pull up somewhere, when you come, to, I don't know, to an event, or you have to pitch something like a brand or yourself. No matter if they're your friends or strangers, you should be able to listen first. Active listening is a must when you are publicly speaking and when you're interacting with people in general because you don't want to seem like the person who's always talking and who just lacks the sound of their own voices. It's really annoying to speak with people like that. First of all, when you pull up somewhere, you should see, oh, well, here is the topic, how the conversation is turning. Understand what kind of people they are, what they wanna hear, and especially what you're gonna say. So sometimes when people are talking, the conversation is really flat and you're really unable to picture what they're saying. How to add depth to your speech is to add figures of speech, analogies, you could explain with a testimony, personal experience, your success story, or your failure story because when you add character and personality to your story and people can relate to you, people will definitely understand better what you want to say. But it all depends on the words you want to choose. So when you're speaking, make sure you choose your words wisely. Say words that you don't know in the dictionary. What I used to do when I was little and what got me the name of the dictionary is because I was constantly reading the dictionary to learn new words. And now, since I was reading the dictionary so much, I know words in five languages. I can't speak five languages, but I know words in five languages because I'm reading dictionaries. You can go online and read dictionaries. You can buy or borrow a dictionary from the library or the bookstore and it all depends on what you want there are dictionaries for everything there are dictionaries for adjectives verbs vocabulary everything you want but to develop your vocabulary and add depth to your speech and some of you guys speak english but i who is not a native know more words in that language in some language than you do and it's not normal because it's your language apparently here's the numbers of words for each level of knowledge in a language so yeah it will make a dramatic change when you stop using words such as like um uh etc etc make your speech looks very dull and empty i have tips on that topic on the how to sound smarter video don't be scared to take breaks between your words to add drama and death to your speech see what i just did people will listen to you because they'll be like what is coming next when you're speaking with people when you're speaking in public and you have a crowd you have an audience like here i have an audience and my audience is you guys I am able to communicate with you and to ask you questions, so I'm just going to be able to do that. What video would you like to see from me and what are some tips that you would need? Your answer by how to and then blank. Depending if you see that it's on my niche, because if it's on my niche, I'm not going to speak on it. <laughs> I'm never going to speak on something that I don't know. And it's coming in how to sound smarter video, you should totally avoid that. Speaking on what you don't know, it's going to make you sound so dumb. You see the people on TikTok? Is that what saying because we want our attention? 
How to communicate with your audience better is to ask them questions. Ask them personal questions, ask them relatability questions, ask them questions to educate them afterwards. I could ask you a question and I know you don't know the answer and then I'm gonna give you the answer because you don't know and it's a great time to educate someone first of all when they make a mistake and second of all when you ask a question and they don't know the answer and it's coming from teachers last but not least because it's like a bonus little tip watch TED Talks watch politicians speaking it's a really great hack if you want to be charismatic if you want people to listen to you when you're speaking if you want to have authority and if you want your story to be interesting so thank you for watching this video you guys if you have more tips don't hesitate to put them in the comment section i love you guys and bye